Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Montreal Canadiens franchise series here on the channel. I think this is episode 20. We are about to face off against the Colorado Avalanche in the Stanley Cup final. This is incredible. We just beat, uh, in the last episode, the Washington Capitals in six games. We went up 2 to nothing after our first two games, but then we dropped the next three, and then we had to win two in a row to win the series. Uh, we're 12 and 8 so far in the playoffs, and you guys can see that the Avalanche are 12 and 6. Since this is a Stanley Cup final, I want to show you quickly the um, Avalanche lines really quickly and see. We're also going to check to see if they have any injuries or anything like that. So let's just go to go to Colorado here really quickly. I know they still have an insane first line. So yeah, Landis Cog, McKinnon, Rantanen, all 90 pluses. McKinnon is 94. He's a beast out there. I think he's up to, yeah, I think he's more than a point per game. Yeah, 19 goals, or 19 points in 18 games. What a stud of a player. Tyson Jost, the second line center. Ryan Dezingle and Connor Sheary. Miles Wood, Comfort, Don Scoy, Lawton, Cop, and Bobby Ryan. Okay, and then on defense, they still have Kale McCarr, 85, and Mikhail Sergachev, the former Montreal Canadiens first round pick. So he's a stud of a player, medium elite. Sam Gerrard and Eric Johnson uh, play on the second pairing. And then Robert Hag and uh, Gustav Olsson, former Montreal Canadian as well, play on the third pairing. And then their goalie is Tuka Rask with David Riddich. Let's see if they have any. Uh, let's see who scratched first. Ryan Strom, Jake Vertanen, Bowen Byram. Okay. Yeah, they have a pretty deep offense, so they probably can't fit Vertanen and uh, that other player. And then I guess they could put uh, Bowen Byram instead of Robert Hag here, but they haven't done so, I guess, which is fine. And then let me just quickly show the injury report to see if there are any of their players that are injured. So let's just go to Colorado here really quickly, guys. So Colorado, no injuries at this time, so... Hopefully it stays like that for us. Uh, we don't really care about what happens with the Colorado Colorado Avalanche. If they get any injuries, we'll be happy, I guess. So this is what our first line's looking like. Caulfield, Kokanyemi, and Nikolai Ehlers. Gallagher, Domi, Dry, Burakovsky, Hurdle, Suzuki, Armia, Paling, and Lekkonen. So pretty deep offense as well. Uh, Eric Gustafsson, Bouchard, Montour, Miller, Brodeen, and Petrie. Looks pretty good. And then in net, it's still Carey Price. He's gone down to an 83, unfortunately. But he's there playing in the Stanley Cup final. So that's nice to see. We're also going to take a quick look at some of the AHL lines. So nothing too crazy. Strimble, we're looking out of some growth out of him. 72. And then on defense, we have Gabriel Horton, medium elite, and Dadunov, who might be able to come up to the NHL team in the next year or two. Other than that, it's looking pretty, um, it's looking all right. We don't have really anybody else other than those two D-men and that forward and Samuel Poulain. So that's what we're looking like right now in the AHL. But the AHL doesn't matter right now. It's We have a chance to win the Stanley Cup, essentially. We have home ice advantage, and uh, we have a chance to win our 25th Stanley Cup in franchise history. First time in 30 years that we have a chance to winning the Stanley Cup. Uh, yeah, the Stanley Cup. So let's just stop wasting any time here. Let's get right into simulating here. We're going to do two periods once again, a uh, quick simulation, and then we're going to do the eight time simulation in the third. So first period, 3 nothing. Okay, Sam Gerrard, Tyson Jost, and Jonas Donskoy score on Price. Not the start we wanted from Carey Price. Uh, 11 to 10 the shots for us though so we're not playing too bad it looks like by the shots but we've been getting dominated on the score line here so second period can we come back no not at all so Caden Primo's in net Sam Gerrard scores for them let's do a time simulation can we get a little bit of confidence here get some goals nothing uh on that power play we get a five on three nothing either on there 29 to 22 the shot so so that's a little bit embarrassing for our net minders who allowed four goals and like 20 shots Nikolai Ehlers gets a goal at least to give our fans something to cheer about but that it looks like that's going to be it 4-1 not the best performance by the Montreal Canadiens let's see who the first three stars were so Tuka Rask Sam Gerrard two goals one assist what a stud 
and uh, Caden Primo came in relief, and I guess he played pretty well. So we're definitely going to need a lot more out of Price here. Nick Suzuki has been injured with a sore hip, so that's not good at all. So we're going to have to, I think we might have to bring Samuel Poulain. Let me see, is there any way I can, uh, let's go to roster moves and just bring our young, um, yeah, let's just go to roster moves, sorry, and uh, bring our young winger into uh, the NHL here, because the AHL is is done, right? So we we can probably bring Poulain up right now and have him play fourth line minutes we're gonna put him on the fourth line just for now actually let's just put him on the third line for now see if he can give us something something good here so let's put Burakovsky on the right wing because he's naturally a right winger I believe yeah even though he shoots from the left uh, and then let's just I think we need yeah we need someone on the PK here so let's just put Jeff Petrie for now he has the best offensive awareness for the AHL, I'm just going to do best lines for the AHL here. So perfect. Because the AHL is done, like I said. So let's just go into game two here. We need to bounce back. This is a really important game for us. We need Cole Caulfield to get going here. So we don't want to go down 2 nothing against the Avalanche going into Colorado for game three. So we need this win at all costs. So first period, one nothing. Max Domi scores on two Karras, so it's nice that we got the lead here. We need a big game out of Price as well. Second period, 3-1. Are you kidding me? Scott Lawton twice. Connor Sheary score again. So we allow, once again, three goals in a period. I think we allowed three goals in the first last game. We need to come back here. We're out shooting them again, but I don't know what's going on with our goalies. But And even our offense is not really producing very much. Only two goals in the last two games. We get a power play. Can we score? And Tyson Joe scores on Caden Primo. It looks like it was a shorthanded goal. So I don't know what's going on. Let's see the three stars. Not the way we wanted to start. Uh, the Stanley Cup final here. Uh, let's see if Nick Suzuki can come back anytime soon here. Tom Tomash Hurdle has lost some morale. We need We need to make some line changes here right now. So... Let's move Cole Caulfield back to his right wing position. Let's put Jonathan Dre up here. Let's put, you know what, let's put Armia here. You know what, I'm going to actually make some line changes, guys, and I'll bring you guys back uh, for game three. So give me a second here. Give me a second here. All right, guys, we made some line changes. We've put Jonathan Dre on the first line with Caulfield and Kakanyemi, and we've also put uh, Burakovsky instead of Jeff Petrie on the power play. We need this win at all costs, guys. We can't go down 3 nothing. If we win this game, anything can happen, I think, in my opinion. So first period, 2-1, perfect. Cole Caulfield scores twice. We moved him back to the right wing, and it looks like it's paid off, at least for this first period. 13-10 to 10 the shots for the Avalanche, though, so it looks like they're playing a little bit better than us. But as long as we get the goals, I'll be happy, and as long as we get the W. So second period here, 3-2. Cole Caulfield scores a hat trick, 20-19 to 19 the shots. Gabriel Landeskog scored a shorthand goal. We put uh, Burkowski on the points, so I don't know if that that explains uh, maybe. Uh, and, and we also have four forwards in both of our power plays, so I don't know if that explains the shorthanded goals we've been allowing, or I don't know if they're a good team shorthanded, but we got to be playing better. They get a 5-on-4 power play, and Keandre Miller scores right after the power play to give us a 4-2 lead. We get a power play, and Cole Caulfield scores his fourth goal. Landis Cogdon scores to make it 5-3. Let's not celebrate too early here, guys. Let's play good defensively. 27-26 to 26 the shots. Burakovsky scores. Very nice to see. And it looks like we're going to be taking game 3, 6-3, guys. What a performance. 30-28 to 28 the shots for the Montreal Canadiens. After getting outshot in the first period, we bounced back really nicely. Cole Caulfield, 4 goals, 1 assist. Jonathan Durant, 3 assists. And Gabriel Landis caught two goals, one assist. So it was it paid off definitely to move Jonathan Durant back to the first line. You guys can see Cole Caulfield decided to um, decide to step up in game three. So multiple players are eligible to come back here. So 
let me uh, I think it might be Poulain that needs to be scratched right yeah Poulain is gone he can be a scratch forward let's put Suzuki up here and then on defense does anybody need to come back I don't think so I think we're good so yeah we're good so we've just we brought back despite the win we've brought back Nick Suzuki he's a really important player for our team so uh, we need to get going here. Game four. If we can win once again at the Pepsi Center, anything can happen. Going back to Montreal will be a best out of three, guys. So let's just get right into it. Game four here. Come on. We need this big win here. First period. 2 nothing. Are you kidding me? Scott Lawton. He scored a lot of goals so far. Shorthanded again. And Tyson Joe scores. 12 to 10 the shots. Come on, guys. Can we have a better second? And we don't. Gabriel Landeskog and Bobby Ryan score for them. 21 to 21 the shots. It looks like this game is over before it even before the third period even starts, to be honest, guys. 13 minutes to go. It doesn't look like we're generating any offense so far from what I can see. Five on four power play. We get a power play. Can we get it going? No. One minute to go. We get a goal by Cole Caulfield, but it's a little too late, obviously, with 12 seconds to go. And the Montreal Canadiens are down 3-1. We're facing elimination now. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to need to make some line changes, guys. I think I might take... Uh, I think it was Burkowski on the power play and then put Suzuki back on there. But just give me a second here. Second here. All right, guys. Game 5, elimination game for the Montreal Canadiens. We need to somehow stay alive here. The line changes that I made worked out for game three, but it didn't really work out for game four. So, boys, we definitely need to do something here um, going into game five. I'm going to do slow simulation uh, eight times for all the periods here for the whole game. So, come on, boys. Eight times. Two to one the shots so far. Come on, boys. We got a power play here. Can we score? Five, five the shots. It's a really tight game, it looks like, so far. But we need to find the game, or not a game-winning goal, but the first goal of the game, hopefully, so we can dictate the pace. And Keandre Miller does exactly that. Perfect. But Jonas Donskoy scores right after for them. Come on, boys. Six seconds to go. And, uh, yeah, after the first, we were, we're out shooting them at least 13-9. to 9. The fans are going crazy right now at the Bell Center. But we need to have a better second period. We need to play tight defensively, not let all these guys score, like Don Skoy and um, Lawton and all those third and fourth liners. We definitely need to dictate the game here, dictate the tempo, hit them, sh get a lot of shots on Rask, and get this W here, boys. Come on. So second period, 14 to 10 the shots, 15 minutes to go. Come on, boys. Let's get it going here. 19 to 14 the shot. So we're we're shooting a lot, but okay, we need to kill off this penalty. We do exactly that. Can we get a goal here in the last two minutes? And it's gonna be Samuel Gerard who scores. Two to one. 25 to 18 the shots. Carrie Price, come on, man. Shut the door in the third. I don't want to I don't want you to allow any more goals. I'm tired of you getting outplayed by Tuka Rask. It's not what I wanted to see. I don't understand why Carey Price has been going down so much so fast, especially after having such a good season uh, this year. I don't understand it, but come on, boys. Let's come back here in the third. We've done that a lot these playoffs. We need to do this again. We give them a power play. Let's kill it off here. We do. Perfect. 31 to 20 the shots. Can we find a goal here? We give them another power play. Kill it off. Five minutes to go, boys. 32 to 23. The shots is Cole Caulfield step up, and he does exactly that. 151 to go. Can we get a goal here? And we won't. But it's going to go to overtime, guys. It's going to go to overtime, guys. Let's watch it. So I'll see you there. All right, guys. One thing before I, I get into the overtime, I wanted to show you quickly the stats, the team stats. So our offense is 95 compared to 92 for them. 89 to 88 the defense they take uh what's it called they take the lead there and then 84 84 for goaltender so that's about the same 
And then, yeah, actually, I forgot that if I just press Y, I can just do the CPU versus CPU game. I don't need to go on select side. So let's just get ready to watch this, boys, and I will see you uh, when it starts. So give me a second here. Give me a second here. All right, boys. Game five, elimination game for the Montreal Canadiens. McKinnon against Kakanyemi. McKinnon wins the wins the face off there. Passes to Kale McCarr, who passes it to Rantanen, but the shot gets blocked. He gets his rebound, and a nice save by Carey Price on McKinnon. On McKinnon. Rantanen has the puck there. Passes it to Landeskog, and a nice save by Carey Price on Rantanen. Rantanen. And it doesn't work. Ehler is going to get the puck again and tries to pass it to Brendan Gallagher, but nothing happens there. Rantanen gets a puck now, but he's going to get cut out by Keandre Miller. And we're going to go to a second overtime, guys. And we're going to go to a second overtime. So the Montreal Canadiens and the Colorado Avalanche are tied up 3-3. A lot of good saves by Carey Price. A few good saves by Tuka Rask as well, but most of her shots were basically right at him. Let's see the total shots, 37 to 31. But I would say that so far in overtime, the Colorado Avalanche have had the better chances. So we need to wake up here, make some noise, the Montreal Canadiens fans. But we definitely need to step up in the second period of overtime. So come on, Karkini and me, win this face off. And I need Cole Caulfield to step up here. Kale McCarr has the puck. He gets hit by uh, whoever that was. McKinnon gets it, passes it behind the net to Rantanen. And a big save by Carey Price on Landeskog. Drang is going to gain the line now in front of McCarr. Drops it to Gustafson, who passes it back to Drang, to Gustafson, to Caulfield, to Drang. Drang can pass it to Caulfield and score. Oh, my God. I saw Cole Caulfield there. In the slot, and he shoots it backhand. That was a nice goal. And the Montreal Canadiens win 4-3 in overtime to stay alive. And they see to live another day. Nice little play there by Jonathan Drang, who passes it to Caulfield in the slot. And Caulfield just fires it backhand past to Karask. Lifts it past his blocker. And Cole Caulfield wins it in overtime. I will see you guys right ahead of game six. What a game we just played, guys, in game five. Winning 3-2 in overtime. Right before the second overtime started, I called out my best players. I called out Cole Caulfield. And he delivered, scoring the game-winning goal in overtime. So another game here that our backs are against the wall. In Denver, at the Pepsi Center, we definitely need to win this one, boys, if we want to stay alive. We're going to do also a slow simulation eight times. We need to shoot a lot and get some goals here in the third. We need to dictate the pace. We get a power play. Can we score? We don't. Seven to four of the shots. We started pretty good. Gustafson scores on Price. Cole Caulfield scores on Price. Cole Caulfield scores 2 nothing. Or not on Price, sorry, on Rask. Another 5-on-4 power play. Can we get a goal? We don't. But 13-9 to the shots so far. 14-9, to I should say. After 20 minutes, we get the 2 to nothing lead. And I think we're in control. But we got to keep playing like this if we want to win this game. We know that Colorado is a very, very good team. We can't get complacent. And we need to keep playing well again. So second period here. We give them a power play. Let's kill it off, by it, guys. Okay, good. We do. But Nathan McKinnon scores on Price after that. And we give them a power play. Come on, kill it off. 2-1, 15-13 the shots. Can we get a, sec a third goal here? Come on, boys. 21-15 the shots. We're playing well, but we need a, th a third goal so we get the two goals advantage here. And we're not going to get that. But 25-18 to 18 the shots. At least we're still on in the lead here um, ahead of the third period. But it's going to be really tough. We gave them a power play goal. McKinnon scored that, but we're still in control, guys. We still have the lead. If we can get a third or goal to get the two-goal lead in the third, it would be amazing. So come on, boys. I'm calling my big boys out. Domi, Dre. Come on, a power play. Can we score? And Robert Hag scores. Are you kidding me? We get a power play, and right after that, they score. Miko Rantanen scores, but Jonathan Durant ties it up. 
It was 3-2 for them. They scored two goals in like two minutes. But Jonathan Durant ties it up. 31-26 to the shots. Can we get a goal here in the last five? Come on, Kakaniemi. Come on, Domi. I need one of these guys to step up. And we're going to go to overtime for the second game in a row, guys. Are you kidding me? Kidding me. All right, guys. Game six, second game in overtime. Can we get the same fate as we had in game five? Kakaniemi loses the puck, though. But Durant intercepts it. Passes it to Caulfield. Caulfield gets a nice little shot. But it's saved by Tuka Rask. Dran gets the puck back. Passes it to Kakanyemi. To Bouchard. And a nice save by uh, Tuka Rask. There. there. Gallagher gets the puck. What is he doing? He stops. Fully stops. Pass it to Montour. He had a wide up on it. And oh my god. Nikola Ehler scores on the rebound. Brandon Montour basically had a wide open net. Shoots it against the D-man. And Nikolai Ehlers gets the rebound. And we win in overtime. What a game. 4-3 once again by the Montreal Canadiens. Let's rewatch that goal. Yeah, Montour had it. Shot it right against Chiri. But the puck falls on the stick of Nikolai Ehlers. You guys can see there. And he rifles it past to Karask. And we're going to have a game seven. You guys can see some of the Habs fans that were in Colorado there. Look at the save by Carey Price on Sam Girard though. On basically on a little breakaway. And you guys can see the game winning goal there in overtime. What a finish by the Montreal Canadiens. I will see you in game seven guys. Guys. Alright guys. After two crazy games in overtime. Won by us. We forced game seven. Winner takes all. Anything can happen in game seven. At the Bell Center, in the Mecca of Hockey, on June 5th, this is going to be the last game of the 2022-2023 season. And you guys take a look here quickly at Cole Caulfield's stats, 20 goals and 26 saves. Unheard of, guys. But let's get ready to simulate. <clears throat> let's do the eight-time simula eight simulation, sorry. one nothing. Sam Gerrard scores right away on the first shot against Carey Price. Come on, boys. Can we get can we score here on the power play? Cole Caulfield answers back and we get another power play. Can we get can we score? I was going to say can we get another goal but we don't. Bobby Ryan on the fourth line scores two goals on three shots. But Cole Caulfield answers back. Nice to see Caulfield is ready to play in this game. 14 to 8 the shots all tied up going into the second. I need Price to step up here. And to not allow any more goals. And I need our offense. Cole Caulfield included. I need everybody to just step up and play well. Come on boys. We give them a power play. Can we kill it off here? We do. Perfect. Another power play. We need their PK to be strong here. And another power play. Are you kidding me? Cole Caulfield scores a third goal. A hat trick. In less than two full periods. 28 to 20 the shots. Cole Caulfield has been amazing guys. 31 to 21 the shots we have the lead going into the third only 20 more minutes come on price come on our offense our defense needs to be rock solid here 20 minutes and we get a chance to win the stanley cup come on boys we get a power play can we score here cole caulfield is fourth goal his fourth goal in a row and his fourth goal of the game what a player mvp for sure for cole caulfield Bobby Ryan scores, though, his second goal of the game on the fourth line. Come on, boys. We give them a power play. Can we kill it off? We do. Okay, three minutes to go. Let me intervene, and I'm going to see you guys with three minutes and some change to go to see if we can hold on to this game and get the W and win the Stanley Cup. So I'll see you guys in a second here. In a second here. All right, guys. 3.41 to go. We're in the Bell Center. Three minutes and 41 seconds away from the Montreal Canadiens to win their 25th Stanley Cup. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. We have some work to do. Gallagher has it. Kalkaniemi is going to get it now. Two and a half minutes to go. Can we hold on here? Ehler has had it in front of that, but he gets the puck taken away from him. Ranton is going to gain the blue line. He shoots it, but nice save by Carey Price. And he's going to hold on to it. A minute and a half to go. I think we're going to see a shot there of the Stanley Cup most likely. There we go. It's being taken out of the 
the coffin, or not the coffin, but that little box there, and the Stanley Cup is being put on the table. It's ready to come out. One of these teams is going to win it. No matter what happens, it's going to be won tonight. So we want to we want to make it that the Montreal Canadiens win. We're one minute and a half to go before that happens. But we still need some work to do. Like I said, nice save by Price on Makar. Gustafson is going to get the puck. No turnovers, guys. Bouchard passes it to Cole Caulfield. Caulfield tries to take on the three players but loses it. McKinnon has it. Passes it to Makar. The Avalanche is pulling their goalie. Bouchard has it, turns it over. Price has it there. Come on, Price. Grab it, man. What's going on? Connor Sheary has it. Landeskog has it now. McKinnon backhands it, but nice save by Carey Price. I don't know what was going on there. You guys can see Cole Caulfield has 20 goals, but I don't know what was going on there. Carey Price could have easily just grabbed it with his blocker or something, but it didn't happen. The faceoff is won by Max Domi. Ehlers could have gone for the net, but he decides to dump it in for some reason. Sam Gerrard is going to take it behind his net. He's going to go full speed, gain the line, take on the D-man, and what a save by Price on Tyson Jost. Oh, my goodness. That's a game-saving save. What a rush by Sam Gerrard, though. Ehler intercepts it, but loses it right after. McKinnon has the puck now. Passes it to Jost, who gets hooked, it looks like. But nice save by Carey Price on that shot. And the Montreal Canadiens win the Stanley Cup. I didn't even realize that was the end of the game. What an ending, though, guys. The Montreal Canadiens have won their 25th Stanley Cup. Let the celebrations begin. What a performance by Cole Caulfield in Game 7. Four goals for the youngster. You guys can see the team celebrating. We have a pretty good young team still. With the likes of Cole Caulfield, Jonathan Drankov, Kanyemi, Paling, Burakovsky, Suzuki, um, JT Miller, or not JT Miller, Keandre Miller, all those guys. You guys can see the Colorado Avalanche really upset. But this series and this year belongs to the Montreal Canadiens. The Montreal fans have waited enough time, 30 years, to win the Stanley Cup, and the wait is finally over, guys. Or captain. I don't even remember who our captain is, guys. Uh, but you guys can see the handshake line. I don't know if our captain is Gallagher. Or I don't even know who he is. Who it is. After we traded Shea Weber, I have no idea. But you guys can see JT Confer and Ryan Paling shaking hands. Suzuki and Confer. And the MVP, of course, Cole Caulfield with 24 goals. Wait, 10 goals, 10 assists. What the hell? Those stats were wrong for sure. I'm pretty sure he has 24 goals and 10 assists. But regardless, he was amazing in the playoffs. Now I want to see who our captain is. It doesn't really matter because we won the Stanley Cup. I don't care who lifts it first. But I want, I'm intrigued by it. Uh, you guys can see Lekin and Primo hugging the coaches. Players taking some pictures. Domi was there, I'm pretty sure. Price. And then the captain is going to be... Who is it? Brandon Gallagher. Well-deserved. He is, uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, he is one of the most long-standing, at least, skaters on the team. And lift the puck, lift the cup, sorry, Gallagher. What a performance by him and the Montreal Canadiens in Game 7. He's going to pass it to Eric Gustafson, I believe that is. He gets the second, that's all right. I want to see Carey Price lift the, lift the cup, though. That's going to be the best, um the best sight there so who's gonna get a third it's gonna be Nikolai Ehlers okay so Nikolai Ehlers goes third it's basically the same celebrations as last year I believe who's gonna get a fourth they're good they're letting Ehlers go twice which is funny he's not that old of a player they usually do that for veterans but Nikolai Ehlers gets to go twice <laughs> yeah, I guess he gets an A for assistant captain I don't even know um, why he's an assistant captain. He hasn't been here with us for that long. And the man of the hour, Carey Price. He's dropping a lot in overall, but he showed up in this game. And he delivered the goods. Carey Price wins his first Stanley Cup. And he's for sure going to be a bona fide Hall, Hall of Famer now. And he's going to have his jersey retired for sure. One Stanley Cup. Most game one, games won sorry, 
for a goaltender in franchise history. Look at these players, guys. What a good group of guys. And we've won the Stanley Cup. Thank you so much for watching. You guys can see the top three stars here. And uh, I will show you uh, the final stats, and then I'll end it off. So give me a second here. Second here. Uh. All right, guys. You guys can take a look here at Cole Caulfield's stats. 24 goals in 27 games. 35 points for Mr. Caulfield. Still an 87, but I think he's going to get better next year for sure. Jonathan Durant, point per game. Cock and Yemi, point per game as well. Finally decided to show up. And deliver the goods. You guys can see your Captain Gallagher. 19 points in 27 games. Max Domi 19 as well. Nikolai Ehlers 17. Keandre Miller was basically our best goal scoring demon in the playoffs. Tomas Hurdle, the depth. You guys can see the other players. And I want to take a quick look at um, our goalie. Carey Price, 16 wins, 8 losses, 2 overtime losses, 2.43 goals against, and 921 save percentage. He's gone down to an 83. Is that the same rating as Primo? No, it's not. But, um, yeah, he's he's dropping, obviously. But he's just won the Stanley Cup. We can't just let him go after him winning the Stanley Cup, I think, guys. You let me know what you think. Um, if you think that we should be, uh, what's it called? We should be keeping price for next year or not. But I think we just won the Stanley Cup. He will have, I think, three more years after this one. Yeah, three more. And yeah, I would definitely like him for him to retire um, as a Montreal Canadian. But who knows if that's going to happen. What a crazy playoffs for us. That caps off with us winning the Stanley Cup. Three, um, three series that went up to seven games. Our last three series there against Colorado, Washington, and Tampa Bay. It was not easy, but we got it done. I'm going to stop it here, though, guys, because it's been a long episode, a lot of overtime games. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you want to see for the next episode. If you want to see um, any other players specifically returning and all that stuff, because, you know, we have uh, Duran. I believe Caulfield needs a new contract as well. So we're going to nef- definitely need to give them – a lot of money coming up here. So, yeah, just leave it in the comments below, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.